Hey traders, Nick Shane here looking at the second part of the financial video. Couldn't get it out early enough, earlier than this. Um, the setup technically is bullish for the XLF going into Monday, which is the um, when Citigroup reports and starts off all the earnings for the financials. Uh, so typically this is a, a mini, a miniature uh, bullish pattern that if they take the neck and close above it, they should rally to here and then some because there's another bigger one up here. So this is a baby one. Kind of like this is actually the shoulder of an inverse head and shoulder, which is bullish. And the shoulder itself is kind of an inverse head and shoulder inside of itself. A couple of them, in fact. One triggered down here and one up here. So bullish patterns, higher low. But these are guys disappoint all the time. And the problem is that Citigroup reports first. So it might start off, uh, you know, they're the ones with the most exposure to, I think, perception uh, to, um, say, um, the Deutsche Bank problems that are going on right now. So it might start off bad for Monday. And if it does, it dips. Um, then I may go long JP Morgan. It's better to go long JP Morgan after the fact. Goldman Sachs, Wells Fargo, and Bank of America report thereafter. Uh, JP Morgan is, again, reminder, JP Morgan is the chosen one, as the best one. Goldman Sachs is the wild one. Um, and uh, Wells Fargo is the black sheep because of what they did. And Bank of America is a savior, the one that saved a whole bunch of banks uh, during the 2008. The government, not willingly, the government shoved them down the throat. I'm not going to go through their um, individual charts. I'll probably show Citigroup uh, because there's an open gap here. Um, and now I'm going to show um, what I found from the open interest because I did this in the other video. Go watch the other video. So the open interest, um, hopefully you can see this. The XLF, the current price, kind of and uh, what the market is priced in. So the market is pricing in this kind of move. In Citigroup, $2.5, uh, 3 on JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, one3 Bank of America, buck $8 for Goldman Sachs. That might be conservative. That guy moves fast. So this column here shows you the overall, easier to 27. So down is easier than up. Down is easier than up. Down is easier than up, you can see. But that's normal because we just had a big rally. So all the positioning in the options were kind of wrong and they caught short or not as long as, as they want. Uh, I see downside pressure for all of them. You can go through them and pick the ones you want. I don't want to make this video too long. I'm just walking you through the data I found. There is some support. And this is my interpretation of the stuff. Uh, upside pressure, only one of them I saw some upside pressure. Because of the rally, I don't expect it. And some resistances. So the overall downside pressure upside pressure, support, and resistance. Uh, these are the tickers. I do have more, but I didn't do more than this. So this is the second version of the video. The next signing out. If you have any questions, let me know.